Our stepping stone for today is the story of famous composer Ludwig von Beethoven. Today we're going to be playing a song entitled Ode to Joy. Ode is like a poem or a song, so this is really a poem to joy, or we could say it's a song to joy. It's written by a very famous composer whose name is Beethoven. You can see this picture of Beethoven. He had kind of wild, woolly hair, and he was a very interesting man. The very last song that he wrote in his lifetime is Ode to Joy. He wrote nine symphonies altogether. A symphony is when the whole orchestra plays. All the violins and the cellos and the flutes, all the instruments play together. And he wrote nine of them altogether. And Ode to Joy is the last part of his last symphony. As the story goes, he wrote this symphony when he was completely deaf. In fact, for the second half of his life, he was not able to hear at all. But he was still able to write amazing music. He just knew what the music was going to sound like in his mind. And then when it came time to perform these symphonies for the audience, he would still conduct the symphony even though he couldn't hear the instruments playing. He could feel the vibrations and he knew what every note should sound like. However, there was always another conductor down in the orchestra pit who had the music and could hear the orchestra. Well, the story is that on the last performance, Beethoven is conducting and he's probably got his eyes closed and he's waving his arms furiously in the air conducting this beautiful piece of music. The orchestra actually finished the piece and Beethoven didn't know they had finished. He must have been a few measures off in his mind. And so the violinist had to walk up to him and tap him on the shoulder to let him know they were done. And he turned around to see that the audience was giving him an amazing standing ovation because his music was so beautiful. Several weeks after that performance, Beethoven died. He was a young man when he died. He was in his late 30s, perhaps early 40s. And no one knew why he had died at such a young age. They just knew that he had suffered a great deal. He had a lot of physical pain. Well, after he died, at his wake, which is where he's laying in his coffin as people come by to say goodbye, somebody snuck in and cut off a piece of his hair. And this lock of hair became part of their family heirloom and it got passed down from generation to generation. In the 1990s, this lock of hair that had been preserved surfaced and two scientists were part of an auction and they paid millions of dollars to get a little piece of this lock of hair so that they could run DNA tests on it. And when they did, they found out that Beethoven had died of lead poisoning. And so he had too much lead in his system, and that's probably what caused so much of his pain and why he died early. But even though he was in great pain, he said he wanted to live as long as possible because he had so much music in his head and in his heart that he felt he had to give this music to the world. And so, today, we play Beethoven's music, music that was written in the 1800s, almost 200 years ago. And it's still beautiful music today. I hope you enjoy playing Ode to Joy as much as Beethoven enjoyed writing it, and his audience 200 years ago enjoyed listening to it.